today's video is going to show you how to change the discharge plate on a DSX York screw compressor. The purpose of doing this change is that your discharge plate has a leak and you want to repair it uh, in the field. So you remove all this and you're going to loosen the bolts. You have to be careful because it is heavy. it depending on the depending on the style um, there the check valve could be in the plate or it could be um, into the casting one of the parts that slide into the casting but you want to make sure that you're careful uh, next uh, you want to remove this so one of the areas that we're going to change to make sure it's not leaking is replace this o-ring and then there's the two o-rings on the pistons that uh, uh, close off the bearing cavity so the trick with, to get these out is the bolts that you just took out of the plate, you want to screw one into here. Screw it all the way down. Next one you're going to want to screw into here, the center. You want to take a pry bar, put one against the other, and apply light pressure. So it pops out, you get past the O-ring. Once you get past the O-ring, it'll slide out pretty easy. The next thing you wanna make sure is that in the back behind this uh, piston that there is a wave spring. You wanna make sure that doesn't fall out, fall forward, so when you go to put it back in, everything's good. Uh, since you're at this point, might as well inspect the bearings, make sure you don't see any breakdown, any grass. Um, on the bearings or in the cavity. Next, you're gonna change the O-ring that's gonna be supplied in the kit. You would change the O-ring on this one. Take this one out, do the same thing, change the O-ring, the light coat of oil. When you're done, make sure the wave spring's back in place. Take, take the piston, put it back. Make sure it's in place. And then uh, we recommend you take a soft blow um, rubber hammer or a mallet and give it a slight tap to make sure it pushes in. Press that in. Uh, you put the new O-ring here, light coat of oil. You'll uh, make sure that your discharge plate is free from scratches, is clean. Um, you then make sure you take your discharge uh, check valve, make sure everything looks good on it, slide it back in. You'll then put this back, put your bolts back in and torque it up and you just change the discharge o-rings on the discharge plate of a DSX York screw compressor.